I would like to share with you some of the choice words that the FBI had for Martin Luther King Jr. in the 1960s. Recently, some letters that the FBI anonymously sent to Martin Luther King Jr. were leaked. Here's what they say. And bear in mind, this is an excellent example of the psychological concept of projection, something that was very much so developed by the psychologist Carl Jung, the study of this. It's when you see in somebody else, particularly oftentimes exceptionally pure or um, transparent people, you see them as uh, they present to you your own self, the parts of you that you would never want to truly witness. So here's what the FBI told the Martin Luther King Jr. Bear in mind, the FBI is talking about their own attributes, not his. King, there is only one thing left for you to do. You know what it is. You have just 34 days in which to do it. You are done. There is but one way out for you. You better take it before your filthy, abnormal, fraudulent self is bared to the nation. No person can overcome the facts, not even a fraud like yourself. Lend your sexually psychotic ear to the enclosure. You will find yourself in all your dirt, filth, evil, and moronic talk exposed on the record for all of time. Listen to yourself, you filthy, abnormal animal. You are on the record. The FBI themselves writing this to him is on the record as a filthy, moronic, abnormal animal thing. Sexually psychotic of all people. They're trying to throw that on Martin Luther King Jr., who culturally essentially represents the highest possibilities of the development and self-actualization of the human soul. The FBI wants this guy dead, and you know what? Martin Luther King Jr. was assassinated. They spied on him for years. They followed him around in person with fake people. They electronically spied on him. They bugged his hotel rooms. They uh, tapped his phones. They took pictures of him with other women and sent those pictures anonymously to his wife. Is this for national security or what? Why are they so interested in destroying this guy's life? Albert Einstein, they did very similar things too. They also spied on the Beatles and John Lennon. These are the people that these guys want dead and gone and discredited. The governments of today have, as they've always had, departments devoted to, and uh, let, me, let me pull up a quote here, to destroy, deny, degrade, and disrupt enemies by discrediting them. That's uh, a quote from the purpose of JTIRG, one of the NSA's closest partners. The NSA is the largest organization for spying in the world. If you don't understand why these things are, I want you to realize that if every person in the world had the type of moral courage that Martin Luther King Jr. or Albert Einstein or John Lennon had and espoused and worked their lives toward uh, inspiring people to realize the own possibilities of their self, we wouldn't need it. Those, those people's jobs wouldn't exist. We wouldn't have the FBI or we wouldn't have spies, the NSA, the US government. None of that would exist. All of our fears would be handled much more differently. We would embrace, own, and courageously step forward through an unknown future with love and happiness and acceptance of whatever does happen. I love you.